With the end of the school year, lots of people are graduating and are stepping forward with their lives, with their graduation being a place to celebrate their accomplishments of working hard to get there and really the start of their life. Not being able to celebrate that is such a letdown and really a bad start for the next part of your life. Because these people were denied their diplomas for really the dumbest reasons. But before we start, sub to the channel. Let's start with the most recent one and the reason why I'm making this video. So this happened on the 9th for the graduation of the Philadelphia High School for Girls. Where it was a silent graduation meaning no clapping, no noise, or anything till the end. Which in my opinion is really dumb. Because when I did my graduation it was yelling, screaming and celebration because people worked hard to get there and everyone loved it. Your name gets called, everyone celebrates for you, you shake the hand, you know, grab the diploma and take the picture. Because the yelling and screaming made you less nervous than a dead silent crowd of just eyes beaming through you. Which in my opinion is even more nerve wracking than people yelling and screaming. Because at least you have that sort of comfort that you kind of feel with noise and people celebrating you. So their graduation was silent throughout the whole thing, which in my opinion is really dumb. You got the one girl go up, do a little dance going towards the thing, hitting the gritty, audience lets out a little bit of noise, and the first was like, nah, you're not getting your diploma. Sarah, the recent graduate, is asking for an apology and calling for change after she did not receive her diploma on stage. Some school leaders say it's because she broke the rules. However, she argues she was just expressing herself during a once-in-a-lifetime event. She stole that moment from me. I will never get that again. Hafsa Abdur Rahman cried tears of humiliation instead of joy at her high school graduation on June 9th. The 17 year old says the principal warned students their families could not cheer or clap when they walk on stage. And I understood the rules, so I was telling in the video, I'm like, she, like, do not say nothing because I want my diploma. I knew and understood what we were supposed to do. In this video, you can see Abdur Rahman dance across the stage. <laughs> and then hear the response from the crowd. She says because they laughed, the principal told her she could not receive her diploma. If they thought that I shouldn't like do the gritty across the stage and do the girls hired traditions, nobody should have been able to wave or blow kisses or do period signs because I feel like that's the same thing. So I just thought it was really unfair. Abdur Rahman says she's not alone. Three other girls did not get their diplomas on stage, but all of them did after the ceremony. So she sat down on the side with four other students who also didn't get the diploma. But then after the whole thing was finished, she got her diploma. They took it to the news because you know how weird it is not getting your diploma like that in front of everyone. Because if the audience just made a little bit of noise and you didn't get your diploma because of that, that's dumb. Because when other people were going up to grab their diploma, they were doing their own little thing, you know, like hand signs, waving, other things to get their diploma. Nobody made noise. She did her thing. People made a little bit of noise and that's what got her declined from her getting her diploma right then and there. Look, they are not a prestigious school. The only thing that they have different than regular school is that it's girls only. Hell, they're not even in the top 50 schools in Philadelphia. So what makes them better than other schools that they did a silent graduation and can hold off of giving students their hard earned diplomas. The whole point of the graduation ceremony is that it's a send off and supposed to be an enjoyable thing for everyone to show other people your accomplishments that you got for gaining your diploma. It's not supposed to be like some silent thing like a funeral. You have IV level universities that celebrate with yells and excitement after every name is called. Look, imagine this, not even imagine this. You probably sat through a graduation. Look, it's about like four to five hours to just straight the same thing. So she decides to do a little bit of dance so people didn't die of boredom before this thing even ends and the dance was to express how she feels. And because of that little amount of noise from other people, that's what humiliated her in front of everyone. And when you think about it, she could have got it without any sort of problem if the audience didn't make any noise. But how's that her fault? And how could you just deny her in front of everyone? Even the district school board agrees that they shouldn't have withheld it and that they'll try to fix it in the future. And when the news asked for the principal side of things, she wasn't available and geez, I wonder why. Another girl, same graduation, cause like I said, there's four people who didn't get it. So you have this girl who's walking up 
and she didn't get her diploma because the principal said someone clapped. Something might have hurt. And Why she didn't get her paper? Vanilla topping. Why she didn't get her diploma? When you hear the video, you hear the mother clap quietly like five times and whisper out yes. And how did she even hear it? Because if this is a convention center, music being played from multiple different speakers, principal is in the middle of the whole thing. Guests are talking among themselves throughout the whole thing because you as the audience would not just stare blankly for hours not saying anything. You would probably talk to someone because you're not trying to sit through that. Even if this thing is a silent graduation, I would probably be the same as the mother. You know, my child goes up, I clap a little bit quietly because I know it's still a silent graduation. And like, you know, a yes is not out of the ordinary. Because I'm seeing my child get rewarded after the years of hard work they put in. And saying that she didn't get it would make me mad. Every opinion that I've seen revolving around this diploma graduation thing, everyone is backing up the students and bashing their principal forward. Because what she did was humiliating for the students, which turned a joyful moment in someone's whole life into a day of humiliation. Then there's another one that people are seeing recently now. That happened two years ago where you had a student wearing the Mexican flag over their gown. It's like, it's part of me, man. It's like, it's in my blood, you know, my family. They, they, they came over here just to like... <sighs> a sign of heritage of where his family has been and how far they've come. That's what the Mexican flag means for Ever Lopez. Not being, able to, not, not being able to get a paper that they couldn't get. And then, like, I just want to make him proud, you know? Thursday evening at his Ashboro High School graduation, the 18-year-old decided to wear the flag around his shoulders. I got to the gym, and I was sitting down. I was sitting beside a bunch of teachers. I threw it on. They didn't tell me anything until I got to the stage. This video is from Lopez's cousin, Adolfo Hurtado, in the stands. You can see Lopez walk past the teachers. In this angle on the school live stream, you can see the principal shake her head the moment she sees Lopez. Then, as he starts to walk across the stage, she asks him to remove the flag before she hands him his diploma holder. And she's like, you can't be wearing that. And I was like, I was in shock, you know, I was like, what? She's like, yeah, you can't be wearing that flag, it's a distraction. I was like, no way, you're telling me this right now. A school district spokesman says their graduation dress code is clearly shared with students ahead of time, and the wearing of a flag of any kind is a violation of the dress code. Students say this is the email they received detailing the dress code. No tennis shoes, sandals or flip-flops, and dress shirts and pants. Nowhere does it approve or deny the right to wear a flag. The representation on. He was the only one that put it around his, his, um, cat, his right and wore it proudly. The other ones did too. He wore it like that. They didn't have a problem with the other ones. They got their diploma, but him out of everybody, they taking his? No. You have Ever Martinez Lopez from Asheboro High School in North Carolina. He walks in representing his heritage by wearing the flag over his gown and he gets denied his diploma. And then when him and his family ask why, they get escorted out by police and he's told that he has to apologize before he even gets his diploma. The principal said that it was because of the dress code saying that caps are the only thing that can be decorated. But he didn't even alter the gown in any other way. He put a flag over it so it shouldn't even be a problem. The gown is out in the open. He has no altercations to it. He just put something over it. And if he bought the gown, he should be able to alter it in any way to grab his diploma. Because you don't have to even show up for the graduation. You can actually show up the next day in shorts, a tank top, and flip-flops if you wanted to. Look, he puts in the time, he puts in the hard work to get the diploma. The diploma is getting withheld, which apparently is actually illegal in both state and federal Department of Education. Because he met all the requirements for getting the diploma, they're just withholding it. Then a few days later, after everyone protesting in his community, he gets his diploma and the principal says that they need to reevaluate the whole dress code rule. And finally, the last one. You had Curly, who didn't get his diploma after he only decorated his cap. So he's Native American. He put a sacred feather on the rope thing of the cap. I, I, I forgot what the rope thing's called. They tell him to switch the cap if he wants to 
stand with everyone else. But he stood strong against the teacher because he didn't do anything wrong. And if we follow the last guy's dress code, Curly followed it to a T because he only decorated the cap. Graduation day was a day Nimke Curly was looking forward to. And just as he was about to walk the stage, his plans were halted. You can sit down, yes, if you switch your cap and you take off the stool. Well, I'm, I'm not allowed to sit down. Not with the, not with the cap, no. Moments away from grabbing his diploma, Nimke Curly was stopped just short of walking the stage. It was because the 17 year old placed his Native American regalia on his graduation cap. It's not just like a, like a decorative thing. It's a, it's a religious belief to, uh, to hold these feathers sacred. And after refusing to give over the sacred feather, he instead gave up his opportunity to take part in the ceremony as he watched from the stands with his family, including his mom and sister. It's awful and I'm so proud. He's always been my big brother, of course, but he's always been a humongous role model for me. Um, he's paved the way for change. Not only for his little sister when she eventually graduates, but for other students. His principal paying a visit to his home this morning with Nipke's diploma in hand. He apologized for the, for the situation um, and I appreciate that. Despite telling graduating students additional apparel or adornment is not allowed, in a statement, school officials say, quote, ETHS is reviewing the graduation guidelines, particularly as they relate to acknowledging the history and stories of indigenous students. So when he told them that he's not going to switch it, they're like, okay, go on the sidelines. So he had to watch on the sidelines on the benches with his family and watch everyone else get their diploma. But then, you know, the next day, principal and other school board members personally came to this guy's house and gave him the diploma. You know, which is kind of stupid, because just like ever, he put on something from his heritage and he couldn't walk with his friends for it. My guess is that the principal didn't know that he got booted to the sidelines or even the reason for it. And when he heard about it, he went to Curly's house immediately to give his diploma. Since it could probably be taken as hate since he followed the guideline for cap decor only and they wanted him to take off his cap because it had Native American heritage on it. That's about it. If you liked then sub, if you sub, you might get another video.